Hey everyone, this is Martin, and we are down to the last couple of days on our Build a Road Map for Yourself Back to the Land series that we've been doing. And today is going to be on getting it organized, getting yourself organized. And uh, before I get into that, I want to have you go down to the below the video here and click the subscribe button and the notification bell, turn the notifications to all. That way you'll get all of them as they come out. And the other thing is, is that once we got started, we decided to stop and write a companion book to go along with the video series. You do not need the book to follow the series. It just has the, org the information organized a little bit better in it. And uh, there's places for notes if you want to keep notes. And um, either, down below in the description, you'll find how to get that through Amazon. Uh, if you want to do that, uh, there is a $3 cheaper version that you can get directly from us that still has typos in it from early editing that we had. So anyway, let's get started. Getting it all organized. Um, as we, if you go back to the early, a uh, couple of the early segments uh, in this series, you'll find that, you know, I put a lot of emphasis on uh, planning goals and getting your dream established and defined and all of that. And uh, all along through the series, we've been talking about the importance of taking action on things and doing small things to start with you know, whatever fits your goals. And um, and that's what today is all about, is that if, if you've been going through the videos and you haven't really applied action to them, now's the time to do that. You really do need to start applying action to your goals and your dreams uh, in order to just get the whole ball rolling, get the thing started for yourself. And if you don't do that, you can you can dream and plan and strategize and all of that forever and never actually accomplish anything. So it's very important to start adding some timelines to your goals. And now that we're almost done with the series, if you have not done that yet, now is the time to start doing that. And what I really recommend doing is getting some kind of a planning calendar or just really any kind of a calendar that you can make lots of notes in and, uh, and start adding some dates to, to the things that you are planning to do, to the things that you, you know, want to try to accomplish especially in this first year. Uh, early on, remember, we had uh, divided out your goals into five-year plans, so you really only need to focus on this year. It's real easy if you, ha if you don't have your goals divided down into specific years to feel like all of it needs to be accomplished at once, and, 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 and that's not the case. You really only need to focus on the upcoming year and just do the small first steps that are necessary in order to start accomplishing those things and start, you know, putting some of that in your rear view mirror. <laughs> and, uh, and the best way to do that is to get that calendar out, you know, go back to your planning session, your, your dreams and goals session, and, and start taking those things from those first year plans that you have. And if you don't have those, go back and find some of those videos and, and go and review through those again so that you can start getting uh, the big massive goal divided down into smaller pieces and then start putting some dates on when you need to try to start accomplishing some of those things. If you're, one of your first goals is to buy land, then you, then you definitely want to set some goals for, you know, by this date I want to have researched as many properties as I can. By this date I want to get in touch with a realtor or by this date I want to start actually going out and, and previewing some properties. And, and start putting dates on those things and, and make sure to achieve those dates. You're not going to always hit all of them on the mark. You're going to be you know, late on some of them. You're going to be early on other ones. But the important thing is to get them down and start actually trying to move towards those goals. And if, uh, if, if land buying isn't in your first year goal, um, then there's other things that probably are. Uh, if, land guy, if land buying is not in your first goal, or your first year goal, probably starting to say a savings account for purchasing land certainly will be. So you may want to say, you know, you may want to set a goal as by the end of the year, I want to have ten thousand dollars in the bank or twelve thousand dollars. That's one thousand dollars a month, and then uh, start setting monthly goals, saying by the end of uh, next month, I want to have a thousand dollars in there. By the end of the next month after that, I want to have two thousand dollars in the savings. Just start setting dates on those on those goals so you have so you have targets to shoot for um it may be starting to prepare for next year's garden or or it could be anything whatever your goals are if 
this whole thing is not a one size fits all kind of project for you. The project is going to be unique to you. And so you'll want to start setting those goals and those dates and those deadlines according to what fits your objectives. And so get a planning calendar. You know, I'm pretty organized, I feel, and, and I still, if I don't have a planning calendar to go by, especially on large projects, you know, I'll get sucked into all of the other things that happen in life and not accomplish hardly any of it. So it's very important, even if you're good at planning or if you think you can remember, you know, there, there was a time where I thought I could remember all of the things that I needed to do. And what happened was I'd wake up in the middle of the night thinking, oh, I forgot that. I, I got to get that done today. I got to get it done tomorrow now. And then by the time I wake up, it'd be out of my mind again. So you do have to get them written down, get some deadlines on there and start actually making some progress. You, you'll never know the, the, how good of a feeling it is to start achieving goals until you actually start achieving some goals. So make sure, get them on a calendar, get some deadlines on them and start moving towards them. And uh, if you need to, again, go back to some of the earlier videos where we talk about setting the goals, dividing big goals down into smaller bite-sized pieces, um, dividing five-year goal down into five one-year goals. Go through all of that, start putting them on a calendar. And, uh, and you'll be astounded at how much you can actually accomplish. You know, there's a saying, I didn't have this in the book, but there, there was a saying that I really believe is, I, I, I believe this as one of the most powerful statements in, in goal setting and achieving things, and that is most people overestimate what they can accomplish in one year, but they way underestimate how much they can accomplish in five years or 10 years or something like that. So it all comes down to making sure that you have quality goals Get them, get them down on a calendar so that you have, so that you have targets to shoot for, and then just start achieving them one after the other, after the other, after the other. And I, I guarantee you that if you take that approach, you'll start getting more things done than you ever thought was possible. So anyway, that's uh, that's the end of that session. We've got one more that we'll do tomorrow, and uh, then we'll be done with the series. So um, thanks for tuning in and watching these things, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and a share, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. See you next time.